Welcome back, everyone, to another Bloodline video. It is your boy, Stephen Ryan, back at it with another one. <coughs> got a good one for you. We have a PSA reveal. Ryan has four cards. I have six cards. Mm -hmm. Then we got a mail day. Yep. So got some mail. Going to show it, uh, show you all what I got. And uh, yeah, that, that's all that's in store for today. So yep. So I'll put Steve's six cards aside. It is also great to be back. It sucks when you get sick or get the Oh, food. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, we, yeah, we didn't do, I mean... Yeah, and plus we were enjoying all the holidays. Yeah, we took off unintentionally, but we did it anyways. And the shoot, I don't. I didn't even go on YouTube for like <laughs> for like five days. But, yeah, a little bit about our return. I think it was a pretty good quick turnaround. I think oh it was gosh, maybe it was, a month and a half. It was like a month and a couple days. Yeah. So, October 17th is when we submitted. We got them, the notification they were graded November 17th. Yeah. So, and then we picked them up like November 20th. So, so yeah, pretty quick turnaround, which is very nice. Um, PSA value. Can't yep. go wrong. They're they're lickety split right now. Yep. So first card on top, I got a Devin Vassell Optic Hollow card, which... Chase got scrapped. Um, overall, I think the card looked good. I think I can see there's a big smudge on this side, so I think... It, I think that's for me putting sticky notes on it. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's on the case. I don't remember if it's on the card. Overall, I thought the carbs are there's good, a, but there's a microfiber cloth if you want to see if it comes off. Let me see. Oh, no, I think it's on the card. Oh, well, that's weird. Or not? I don't know. It's only in certain lights. Anyway, I see it. But overall, I think a good card. I, I think I submitted this with the chance of it getting a ten, but I would not be surprised if it did come back a nine. But let's get it. Let's go, Jim and Ted. Very Jen. nice. Mint. Devin Vassell. Devin Vassell is, I don't necessarily say he is going to be the heart of the San Antonio team, but he has been. He's their um, best player right now. Best player at the moment. Young player as well. But very nice. Jim Mint 10, Devin Vassell. We'll take that. Take that. Take that. Uh, Blue Scope pulled this one on the channel. Yeah. Nothing much more I can say about that. Trevor Lawrence came back. I didn't come back, but he beat the Baltimore Ravens today. Yeah. Which, as you know, when this is released, it's going to be more like on Sunday. But, um, yeah. That was a great game. I watched that last drive. Yeah. And uh, he made some very accurate throws to win it. Yeah. I don't think anything anything about this was very much... Everything kind of looked good, but with the with always the new optic design, it's always very hard to tell centering-wise. But I felt like it looked pretty good. And I'm hoping for the best. Um, Blue Scope, Lawrence, nine, nine. Surprise. Don't know. Again, I do not know. Maybe See, I top think it's, to bottom. Yeah, it's, I was going to say top to bottom. Centering is probably looks looks the most off. Yeah. Because left to right looks solid. Yeah, left to right looks solid. Yeah. Probably top bottom, but overall good. Because I think surface looked good. We'll, we'll compare it against this one and see whenever... <laughs> Whatever the grade of this determines, but Zach Wilson, been Bench, playing. He got me. He, he's been playing decent, but I don't know why he got benched. Uh, um, I think it's his attitude. But I mean, because what it was a three-three. It was a uh, what was that loss against the Patriots? He lost. I think it was against the Patriots. Well, the most recent one, where he lost against the Patriots, and he was like, "Your de your offense only put up three points. You feel like you let your defense down." He was like, "Nope." We did our job, and I was like, "That's not what to say." Yeah. <laughs> like, so I, I think I think there's some tension in that locker room with him just not saying the right sh stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Almost used the wrong word there. <laughs> <laughs> Good believe it. But let's see. Zach Wilson, green velocity, be nice little color match, and a nine as well. Very shocked. Very shocked. I think they probably both have their each of their own little dings, or probably. See, I think the Zach is better centered. Yeah. Um. There might have been a surface or corner issue that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look. Honestly, I didn't look at your cards too hard. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I because I I typically look at my cards again, maybe a little bit off centered, but the with the new new object, it's kind of hard to tell. But if I had to guess, it was gonna be I would say it was surface, just given how Panini and I don't know what that little fuzzball is, but 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 I am excited about this one, Japanese. Japanese Leafeon from um, this is from EV Heroes. Overall, looks good. And I think it's again. Uh, I like to preface with Pokemon. It is as long as it is like fifty or sixty forty. It's typically a pretty good. Um, but 
I don't know. We'll, we shall see. Can I keep my streak alive? Having pretty decent grades with Pokemon cards? We shall see. Define decent. PSA 10s. <laughs> oh, okay. So you, you mean being perfect. Per being perfect. Can I keep it up? No! no. Uh, heartbreaking. No. I think this submission is uh, is disappointing because I, I think you're expecting at least two 10s, probably three. Yeah. So I think... Uh, very sad <laughs> as i call of all the ones i honestly thought maybe this one wouldn't get a 10 but <laughs> it's the one you didn't think would get a 10 got a 10 yeah and the rest did it <laughs> very sad but if anything it's probably just the centering yeah i think the centering I, comparing it to some of your other pokemon cards that has the worst centering yeah that i've seen out of all the ones you've submitted so very sad but anyway let's... anyways let's get over to my submission there's uh, some good cards coming yeah very good cards so we're gonna go ahead and switch positions now we have my six card psa submission we submitted at the same time but i you know we don't know the grades because yep. i gave them ryan's instagram so the first one is going to be a blue eyes ultimate dragon from the the new ghost of what is it ghost, ghost of, of the past two. ghost of the past two or second haunting mm -hmm. pulled this and the following Yu-Gi-Oh card yep. not on camera because i was just kind of getting into it and uh, so i ripped it off camera and pulled two ghost rares yep so I'm just really excited to see what this is. I don't expect a 10, but we'll just see. A nine. A nine's nine pretty good for Yu-Gi-Oh. Nine is really nine good. Nine is really good for Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I, I got to say, I was expecting probably an eight, but I mean, so you can't with, go wrong with a nine. With nine, so nines on Yu-Gi-Oh are almost basically tens in a way, um, basically because they're so hard to grade because of the, the hollows are so big, so it makes the... There's so much damage that could possibly happen with the cards yeah and everything so getting a nine is really good um the tens are super hard and very rare um but i'll take a nine i'll take i that's... don't remember one of them um but like both of these the pop counts are tens are very low like lower low as in below 10 in existence um so so this the one we just showed the ultimate dragon is probably the least popular this is probably mm -hmm. the second most desired card out of the set behind um dark magician girl yep in the ghost rares so this is also from the ghost of the past second haunting pulled this again off camera ripped the first two boxes came back with ghost rares and mm -hmm. sometimes i just have that dumb luck especially when i'm not ripping for the camera so i'm gonna peel a band-aid because i want to know because i think this card's actually Nope, I'm not going to say it. On par. P uh, PSA 9. Mm -hmm. I like it. So I was going to say on par, maybe even better, but I didn't want to jinx it and then pull like a 4. <laughs> so so I want to say, it, I believe it is this one, and I'll scan it just to make sure. Um, but this one is... A there's, a, a, there's 158 nines, and now there's only two, two tens. Two tens. So it's very hard to get a 10 in this in still this even game. hard to get a nine last time i checked there was only one so yeah oh cool and i, I like think it a, i think a nine went for like 300 something dollars so okay that's about uh i think that's about a little more than what raw goes because i think raw was about 200 yeah so that's not bad so next i got jalen brunson pick this up while the mavs were in the playoffs and making a run last year in the western conference finals he's now with i believe the knicks yep so was that Sad to see him go, but I wanted to pick up one of his autos. Thought it looked good when I got it off eBay, but I don't think it's 10 good. Am I right? I am right. So I didn't think it was 10 good, but a PSA 9 for something that's going to sit in my collection. I cannot, I can't complain about. It's a nice card. They made a heck of a run last year to go all the way to the um, Western Conference Finals. Honestly, now that I think about it, I would be surprised. I don't know if I really believed any of these cards were 10 besides that CD lamb. <laughs> so I'm sure that's in here. I know it's in here, so we'll get to that in a minute. Ellie De La Cruz pulled this on the channel too, out yeah. of a blaster box, if I remember very, right. Very, very nice card, I think. Nice card, number to 36 out of 99. You can see down there in the bottom. And I think it's only gonna go up until he uh, gets into the, the major. Yeah, into the majors. Yeah, he's and he played really well in the minors, so I would love, love to see this be a 10, but like I said, I just, don't know if it will be mint nine yeah i think so like i said they were all looked good i i know this one had some service issues 
like right here-ish. Yeah. So I'm not surprised. Again, I'm glad it's so glad it's not an eight because yeah. it's still a valuable card in a nine, considering how well he's been playing in people. Yeah. Yeah. And for sure. And it's a numbered card, so always helps. And I think one day the market will get it together and they'll value PSA nines a little better than raw. So yeah. hopefully, hopefully by the time he comes in the big big leagues, Lenyon Sosa. This is another one we were able to get Bowman Sapphire. A box of Bowman Sapphire, and this Lenyon Sosa came up. He actually was he had called up into the big leagues yeah. the last couple weeks of the season, and um, he did play a little bit. This one, I think it's another one where it's a good card, but I think it had one issue that probably kept it from a ten. Mint nine. Okay, can't say I'm not surprised. So, a little disappointing, but again, not shocking as long as they don't come back an eight. So you saved my favorite card for last, and the yep. one I've had the most anxiety about. If you remember, I will tag it up top. We broke into this card, which was a Dallas card show or Dallas grading, it was Dallas uh, DCS yeah. Dallas uh, slabbed. That was a 9.5, which they are pretty strict on their grading. Broke into it, hoping this would turn out to be a 10. And uh, yeah, so this is the one I've had the most anxiety about. Mm -hmm. This is the one that if any of them were to come back at 10, it would be this one. Okay, I'm gonna pull it. No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the main card I checked whenever I got the grades back, and I was like, did it get it, did it? And I was like, oh. And when we broke it, I know, and I know, I know they're tough graders, but when we broke the slab and looked into it, I'm pretty sure, I wanna make sure my bill doesn't block the camera, that corner right there, the top right, Looked a little soft. Mm -hmm. Oh, that? that breaks my heart. So I went six for six on nines. I think you could hear the sorrow in my voice. That's a little sad, especially that CD. I was really hoping that would come back at 10. Sucks um, overall. Not not the best uh, return. We only had one 10. One 10 out of, out of 10 cards. Yeah. Wow. That's atrocious. Well, now we are going to move on from there so I can forget yeah. about this heartbreaking. And we're going to move into a mail day. I've ordered some stuff off eBay, working on some sets. Some of the sets you know about, some of them you don't. I think Ryan knows about them all. I told him, but I have not told our audience about this one. So I've been... Let me move these so you can get the nice Bloodline card logo. So I picked up some... These are from the 21... 2021 spider-man x-men or spider-man metal universe um blaster boxes and hobby box we ripped okay so i have been working on completing the complete set from cards one to 200 mm -hmm. i was 11 cards away from completing the 11 or the the low series which is numbered one to 100 so this yep. is six of those cards that i or five of those one two three four five of the five of the cards i've been missing so there, I got picked up Beast, Cosmic Spider, which looks really cool. Not familiar with him. I'm surprised I didn't have this one. Mayday Parker. I have several of her in like gold mm -hmm. and um, in yellow, but I didn't have a base, which was surprising. Shocker. I know, shocking. And then Winter Soldier. So those are five of the cards that I needed out of the 11. I have the other six actually coming from eBay. Um, I think they're supposed to arrive tomorrow. Okay. So picked up those five. Going to throw those into my set. Uh, one of these days, I'll pull out the binder and I'll I'll show off the set of everything I I've picked up. So the next card, as you know, and we have discussed on the channel, I have been working on the PMGs from 2017 Ultra Fleer Spider Man, and I have won slash negotiated my way into picking up some more of those cards. I looked last card show. Oh, speaking of last card show, I left one back there. But last card show, I was trying to find these cards. They were hard to find for me. I could not find a raw one. I found several, let me turn my head back around, several graded, but for the time being, I'm trying to just pick up as much raw uh, PMG cards as I can. So I did pick up these two from one eBay seller, White Tiger and Anti-Venom. Mm -hmm. Pretty good prices, I think, for the both of those, I only paid a hundred bucks. That's dope. Not a hundred each, hundred total. So yeah, these these are really cool cards, Anti Venom and White Tiger. So I am adding to that PMG collection. And what you see in this black envelope, which this person went 
all out in protecting. No, yeah, he put a lot of sleeves in here to protect this card, which is surprising given it's only, I think, a $30 card. I think I won it for 40 Oh, and he's got it in like a 150-point top loader. <laughs> so I got extra sleeves. Extra sleeves. <laughs> and then he stuffed extra sleeves in there. So here we go. Also got the Jackal oh. PMG. So picked up these three cards on eBay nice. in the last couple weeks. I don't think any of these are thick, so I'll have to find a, a one touch for that since I'm one touching all these cards. But that's what I my uh, those were my eBay pickups that I'm working on collecting. So now I have three more cards to go with the three cards you keep seeing in our background and I showed before on our channel. So I have six down and. 44 to go. Yeah. <laughs> 44 to go. Now, speaking of card show pickups, there was one card that I have not shown on the channel, but it's been in our background, which I will grab. Mm. At the card show, when I couldn't find any PMGs, I was also looking for Josh Young. Um, he got called up to the Rangers at the end, or at the end of the season last year. Oh played pretty well. Tech's al Tech alum, which Ryan loves. He's expected to play really well. I'm lucky he'll be in the running for... Uh, AL, or AL Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. But picked this card up at the card show. I saw it, and I was like, gotta have it. There wasn't many people selling Josh Young's. So I snagged this up while I could. At yep. a pretty reasonable price, too. I think it was like 200 bucks. Yeah. So, one and two, bad. But yeah, that's our PSA reveal and our... Yeah, and our, our mail, day. Day, mail day slash card show pickups. Uh, this... That breaks my heart. But... I'm glad we did get to show it on the channel again. It was, it will be tagged up top and it will be tagged at the end of the video so you can go see us breaking this, how it was a Dallas card show, 9-5. I think, I think it could have, it should have gotten a 10 if it wasn't for that possible corner. So, uh, heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Heartbroken. So that went from possibly flipping to definitely staying in my PC. Yeah. <laughs> so, that'll do it for this video. Let us know down in the comments. Uh, what you think if you haven't been or if you haven't subscribed to the channel already go ahead and do so we are on a road to 500 subscribers we are oh so close and we are doing giveaways it almost seems like every other week now yep. so you're gonna want to make sure you're subscribed turn on that notification bell so you don't miss when we do announce our giveaways and until next time y'all we'll, we'll catch, catch you later, later.